Hi guys! In a world where civilian meets precision, the key to unlocking comprehensive security lies in the mastery of advanced NVR setting. In today's video, we plunge headfirst into the captivating world of PDZ camera control and presets, and taking your security system from good to jaw-dropping awesome. And if you have any question with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. And our team of experts will contact you as soon as possible. So network video recorder system are specialized devices designed to capture, store, and manage video footage from IP cameras or other network sources. NVRs process and store digital video data, offering high resolution and advanced feature for effective video civilian. One key feature is the PDZ camera control. PDZ camera equipped with pan, tilt, and zoom capability offer flexibility to remotely adjust the camera orientation and focus, allow users to configure and save specific camera position, streamlining the process of monitoring crucial areas without manually adjustment, and enhance the control and adaptability, ele elevating the effectiveness of video civilian system to a new height. So now we are in front of the demonstration board and today we are going to connect to a PDZ camera and build its advanced feature on the monitor. So the PDZ stands for pan to the zoom. Pan function enabled camera to rotate horizontally, covering a wide area without physically moving the camera. Tilt allowed the camera to angle up and down, providing a comprehensive vertical view. Lastly, zoom let users magnify distant objects for detailed scrutiny. This versatility set the PDZ camera apart from fixed camera, offering the ability to cover a larger area and focus on a specific detail. Also, it comes with 5 megapixel and 8 megapixel high resolution, ensure sharp detailed visuals, and providing crucial clarity in identifying subjects. First, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the router to the network video recorder. So the router can provide network data and the network video recorder can record video footage and manage our IP camera. And it's already connected to the monitor. Next, I'm going to use another short patch cord to connect the router to this 90 watt PoE injector. And you can see it has a special mounting tool allows you to mount it on a DIN reel. And here we have the data input port and the PoE output port. We are going to plug it into the data input port for the data. So it will receive data. And the PoE output port, I'm going to connect with another Ethernet cable. So it can provide power for our edge device, which is our PTZ camera. So let's plug it in here. And the PTZ camera will receive both power and data through the single Ethernet cable thanks to the PoE technology. And it's moving already. Let's give it a minute for the video to display and I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. And now let's check out the advanced feature on the monitor. So to manually control the PDZ camera, we have to use the on-screen control of the camera interface. So right click it, go to PDZ control, click on it, and this is our PDZ control panel. And we can pan, click on left and right like this, and we can tilt it by moving up and down arrow. And we can actually change the speed. One is the slowest and five is the highest. Let's try. So it's way faster. But I want a slower movement, so I'm going to just change it back to one. And you have to ensure High quality result, so you should move the camera with steady and slow motion. So next, I'm going to check out the zoom capability. 
and we can zoom in and out using this two button and let's try to zoom in let's zoom on the teacher's computer and it can zoom in 30 times you can see the number is going up 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 to 30 and let's see if we can view what's on her computer as you can see we can see every single word on her computer and it's very clear so let's zoom it back out and the PDZ camera has two type of zoom the optical and the digital this one is the optical zoom in it involves adjusting the camera's lens to bring this distant object closer without sacrificing the image quality and next I'm going to show you the digital zoom which is just we have to cancel it clicking it and hit enlarge now we have enlarged the image digitally but it often resulting in pixelation and reduced clar clarity so as you can see it's very blurry so let's go back next I'm going to show you the preset again go to PDZ control on the panel we have the preset button over here presets are predefined position that you can set and save on a PDZ camera for a quick access during civilian they offer benefits including swift navigation to important area consistent monitoring of key points and ability to respond remotely to events first I'm going to set preset point one which is let's set it face to the door and you can zoom in I'm going to zoom and looking at the door so this will be my preset point one let's hit one and add it next I'm going to set another preset point let's set the point looking at Natasha and make sure she's working okay let's set it at point two so this is our preset point two and add it last but not least I'm going to set one more facing the stairs let's zoom out this will be my preset point three let's add it to so now when we plug in one and hit start it will automatically go to the door when we plug in two it will go to Natisha and three going to the stairs so this is how you set the preset point last but not least I'm going to show you one more advanced feature called the petrol roots and it can enhance the automation and versatility of the PDZ camera allowing them to navigate predefined paths automatically with the petrol roots you can create sequence of presets position that the camera will follow providing a hands-free monitoring experience so this is tour one now we are going to add the preset point let's add one and two remember the three point that we set and three and now we're going to hit start and first it will go to the door and in a few seconds it will go automatically to Natisha last but not least it will go to the stairs so it's pretty handy right and it will keep going in this rotation on and on 
It will again. It will go back to the stairs, and then to Natisha. So this is how you set the routes. And here we have some additional tips for Ultima PDZ camera usage. First, smooth movement. You can ensure slow and smooth PDZ movement for clear footage. Adjust the motion detection sensitivity to reduce the likelihood of force alarm. Also, fine-tune the motion detection sensitivity to avoid excessive noise in night vision footage. Next is the preset planning. You should cover the critical areas such as entrance, exits, and valuable assets. Configure presets to overlapping field of view. Ensure that there are no blind spots. And set the presets at varying elevation and angles to capture a comprehensive field of view. And consider lighting condition. Provide clear visibility during both daytime and nighttime. And thank you very much for watching. Don't miss out on the latest update and insights in the world of security technology. Now you can subscribe to our channel Fast Cabling and hit the like button to stay informed and engaged.